Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Live special number 163, recorded July 24th, 2013. Breakfast with Sundar. Breaking news on Twit Live is brought to you by Slingbox. Get your Slingbox today at Best Buy or Amazon, or check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Leo Laporte here. Joining me, Ayaz Akhtar, uh, Tom Merritt, and Sarah Lane. It's the entire TNT team. We were here anyway. So. Yep. They were, they were coming in anyway, so they said, what the heck? Actually, Tom's in studio with yeah, me. Yeah, thanks which for bringing me up, up here. This Thank you for being here, because this coincides... Uh, with our uh, second anniversary uh, open house. In fact, occasionally you may hear a... <laughs> they're putting a sign up. I brought the jackhammer from my <laughs> L.A. studio. We've only been here two years, and we finally get a sign that says twit on the front door. Um, they spell it right. But we have gathered... <laughs> <laughs> did you check? I, I was going to put it on back. I did take a picture of the T. There's a T on the Twite. truck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to... Yeah. <laughs> Father Robert I even, got there. I didn't even think of that. I should have checked. <laughs> Uh, we are actually gathered together today because uh, an invitation went out from Google about uh, 10 days ago to breakfast with Sundar Pichai. Sundar Pichai, for a long time, uh, head of Chrome and Chrome OS. He is, uh, since the reorganization, he's part of the L team, Larry Page's uh, team of executives. He's now in charge as well of Android. So we expect some Android announcements, perhaps some Chrome OS announcements. Um, and we're about to find out. Google is live streaming it, and we will be doing our traditional uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 commentary over the live stream, uh, which means if you are watching this and you uh, get the urge to say, would they just shut up so I can watch the live stream, then we encourage you to actually go watch the live stream. You can get it without commentary entirely if you'd like. Uh, and I presume Google's streaming this on YouTube. Yeah. All right. I don't know if there's a, a URL that, ta that redirects you there. I'll tell you what, there's people in the chat room asking, so I yeah. will find the URL. Well, Leeds in the chat room seems to have it already. Oh, boy, that, that was, was fast. Yeah, that, I mean, it's, it's a YouTube.com slash watch question mark V equals capital G. But I don't, know if there's a, I don't know if there's a redirect. Maybe that one is the direct link. So yeah. use that. There's about 18 people posting it. So what do we uh, what do we expect from Sundar? We're waiting for the stream to start, and we'll go to it as soon as it uh, begins. Tom? Well, do we expect a Nexus 7 announcement? Obviously, he's going to say it, but it leaked all over the Internet this morning. It's Best it's Buy <laughs> listed it for mm -hmm. sale with price and specs. Android police put benchmarks out there. I guess CNET had pictures of it, too. <laughs> I've seen it unboxing. It's hardly worth announcing yeah. it at this point, but I think that he will announce it. Maybe it'll be like just a product page real quick. It's like, yeah, you saw this already. Yeah. One slide, we're done. <laughs> it's actually talk about stuff. Android 4.3 Jelly exactly. Bean, according to Best Buy. Not so it's not Key Lime Pie. It's just an upgraded Jelly Bean. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll talk about that. There is a rumor also that he will... Um, uh, oh, look, I got an, uh, an awesome... Uh, that's cool. I haven't got any of those. Uh, the camera, awesome. Well, I uh, oh, I took a video. That's why. This is the oh. guy. That's It turned it into a video. It's amazing. It took that video and turned it into a video. <laughs> Jason Howell is also here. He's behind the board. Just came in. He's got just a double daddy down. day. Uh, this is like a double witching hour when you're uh, <laughs> when you're a daddy. He's I made got, it, though. Made it just in time. He's <laughs> got both kids. So, Jason, we, we really want you to be participant in this. And I Absolutely. guess you didn't. I don't know if you got my text. I was wondering if you had a cue lying around. because. Oh, man. You know, I didn't get your text, and I almost brought it just out of instinct. Well, and it's nothing to show. Think of it as a, a magic eight ball. Totally. Totally. Uh, that Google released at Google I.O. more than a year ago and didn't even make a product out of it. It was such a uh, overpriced fiasco that Google said, you know what, those of you who bought it, just keep it. <laughs> no charge. And uh, and they never they never made a product out I've of it. I've got one in my closet. It was Best place for a queue. $299, <laughs> right? And it was somewhat of a media streamer. People didn't quite get it. It didn't work with, with uh, Google TV. It didn't have Google TV built in. It just seemed like it worked with your Android phone. And that price was just killer, $299. They never came out with it. Hey, you know, somebody's saying that he's getting 4.3 right now. I'm going to, uh, I brought, I as and I brought our Nexus Yeah, so we sevens. matched this way. I didn't get the strip Nexi. memo, but I did rip my Nexus with me. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to just go check updates. Oh, one of those in my So the, one of the rumors is, and I, th I think this is actually credible, and I'll tell you why in a second, but one of the rumors is that they will release an updated queue 
to work with something that you're seeing in the 4.3 code called Chromecast. Mm -hmm. um, this uh, is sort of like an AirPlay-like thing that would say you could take things from your Android devices and right. put them on your television. One of the things that Q did that I was always very skeptical about was you could steal the Q. If you and a right. bunch of friends were sitting around with your Android phones, you could say, hey, let me play this, let me play this. And I asked the Google guys, I said, who, why do you think that's a feature? Who would want to do that? And they said, all our research shows kids, mm -hmm. teenagers, love to do this. It's they a come party. In, it's a party. Yeah. Uh, let me play my song. Well, let me play my song. Uh, and, and they've indicated to me that they, want to, that they are going to put this capability into other hardware. So... Google, that is not dead yet. That's and pretty so, interesting because the S4, when the Galaxy S4 came out, they were talking about just taking their phones and sharing music that way. It seems like a really social way to do music because the weird thing is when you have like Bluetooth or AirPlay, you're taking turns and it's like, oh, did you pair that? Let me hold that down for three seconds. Okay, now that works. If the Q and this, this Chromecast works the way it's supposed to, just simply going up to a device and being able to take it over seems pretty quick. It's a little different, Leaf in though. the chat room just said it could be a Miracast type thing. Yeah, Maybe a dongle. You think it'll be a dongle? No, it's going to be a ball. They've got the ball. They made Maybe the ball. They're going to keep doing the ball. They're, they're going to have a ball today. They have to have a ball. Yeah. We will have a ball. We'll have a ball. The thing, this, you know, I have a Galaxy S4. I've yet to find somebody who wants to turn our multiple Galaxy S4s into a shared experience. You've got to hang out with the right people. <laughs> it, the sound quality is crappy. But if you have lots of them, they are crappy together. Lots of crappy. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll see. That's so. The speculation again is, and I just checked, and there is no uh, four three four uh, Nexus seven. My system is up to date with four point two point two. But the speculation is a new Nexus seven. I think that's pretty solid. That's going. I mean, Best Buy selling it, so yeah. I'm assuming it's true. <laughs> In the unboxing, it showed Jelly Bean. And by the way, if you tap the OS four three several times, you get a little Jelly Bean a game that you can play. That's a nice Easter egg, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, perhaps Chromecast. And uh, and a new Google Q. Anything Sarah Lane, else? do you think anything else you can you think of that we might be seeing anything out of the box? Uh, uh. I mean, isn't that enough? <laughs> My goodness, it is because we don't want this to be too long because we've got a lot to do. You've got TNT yeah. coming up. Right after TNT is security now. Our open house begins at 9 a.m. So people will start coming mm -hmm. in. We're gonna have food and a sign. And then uh, <laughs> people can find the place. And then we're, this we're week in Google. This week in Google cool. right after that with, talk about with uh, Jeff well, Jarvis. Well, over at the event, they're playing We Are Young by Fun. So, you know, it's it's all about nah, youth and the future. Nah, right. Let's event. do it all together, guys. We, we are young. young. Let's so, uh, something, something, <laughs> something. Let's let the... We're they're going to set they, the world on fire. Set the world I think on. that's it's kind of a jump. That's <laughs> irresponsible. Yeah. It's also like kind of an old song. It is, isn't yeah. it? Well, maybe Sundar just found it on his instant mix on his Android phone. It's like, oh yeah, he I was remember partying song. with some teenagers, and <laughs> someone. <laughs> put it into it. Uh, okay. fact, the, the music at the event is actually done by a Q. Somebody's just stealing it randomly. I mean, everybody was expecting Nexus Seven and Android. This Chromecast thing popped up, which I think mm -hmm. that's a good bet, like you say, Leo. He almost has to have something else. No, I think that's plenty. No? Yeah, it's just breakfast. It's not dinner with Sundar. <laughs> if I were, like a hearty breakfast, so Leo. If it, was a, so if it was brunch, you'd expect more. And remember, uh, now, there's there's another event, a Motorola event, uh, August 1st. Mm -hmm. That's going to be for sure the I would the Moto X, they even yeah, said on the invitation. Um, and they made some, well, you know, they didn't make a lot of announcements at Google I.O. I guess there could be more. A new Chromebook, perhaps. He is... In charge of Chrome OS. Well, some kind of television, really. I mean, if they're doing a, a Chrome, maybe they've got some kind of television streaming service. I can't way, imagine they'll do it cable over the internet. Cool in the chat room said, old people singing We Are Young. How ironic. You're fired. Mm. Oh, no, I can't fire people in the chat room. If I could, I would. He's kind of <laughs> right, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm old. You guys, you guys are relatively I hate young. young. <laughs> we are middle-aged. That song didn't do as well. No. I think we that's aren't young. Yeah. well with the 18 to 34s. Yeah, you know, I, I would. I'm waiting for the Android Chrome OS thing to smash together, especially with Sundar at, at the top now. I don't think this will be the event that that would happen, but it has to happen at some point. I guess what I'm wondering is, and and. And Sarah, you, you seem to have the proper level of expectation, so check me on this. If all, right. all we get is a Nexus 7 and Jelly Bean and maybe a, a, a Q Chromecast dongle, will people be disappointed? Should they be disappointed? I mean, they made a big deal where I got a big announcement and then they leaked everything. Well, I mean, that happens more and more these days, right? I mean, how many announcements do we actually go into where we all sit around going, I can't imagine what they might actually pull onto stage in another five minutes? Yeah. This is all, I mean, it's, 
It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great recipe to drum up press. I mean, we're all here talking oh, about it. All the live blogs. Wait a minute, let's are... uh, let's uh, start to interrupt. But here we go. We're going right sure. to the live uh, stream. One of the uh, members of the Star Trek crew. We've got a lot of exciting updates to share with you mm. across both. Looks like our feed's a little behind as usual. And the so audio is really low on it. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I'd like to invite up the man you're here to have. That's as loud with. as it goes. I wonder what SVP breakfast is. Apps, Sundar Pichai. I don't know why it's so quiet. Oh, it really looks like breakfast. There are tables, uh, circular tables. Coffee. It looks like they've got coffee. wine, coffee, coffee, right. coffee. coffee. wine, morning. coffee. So I just so talk. Nice. Wine? Uh, hopefully you all have, can have breakfast. Uh, <laughs> louder. Yeah, no, I know. It won't go any louder. Speak up soon, No more louder. It's been a busy summer for us since then. The weather has been great, but both the Android and the drone teams have been working here. hard. And so we're very excited to share uh, uh, all the news we have today. All the news, uh, that sounds like more than... Google I.O. Definitely more than one thing, yeah. About the fact that users are increasingly mistake, adopting computing devices. <laughs> What's users that? Are increasingly adopting <laughs> computing devices. Is there something the in their feed? Exploded in growth. Tablets are following the same trend. Oh, televisions. Boy, you know, that's a multi -screen kind of looks like they're users. all broken. And increasingly, <laughs> this whole new category of emerging devices. There we go. Horizon. Thank you. No, they're all. So it's a very, very exciting. Stopped time. on the leap motion. We at Google are incredibly motion. excited by this trend. We are embracing it. Our goal is to deliver an experience that is seamless, consistent, and beautiful across all these screens. And the way we do that is by investing in two platforms. Are we? Do we have the wrong Android audio on the picture? And Chrome. No, we have the right these one. These are so it's two just a little large less. open platforms. Completely designed from the ground up for developers worldwide to innovate on. This is a so little challenge for Sundar because uh, for they've got two things. operating systems and they're very different. Android is the largest mobile and platform they in the world. need to some way uh, and Chrome show that is the there's most a popular unified browser strategy in the world. Well, they it's the same problem Microsoft's struggling with. It's the same problem Apple doesn't really also, struggle with, but has Android OS X. Is it a problem for Apple, though? It doesn't I mean, seem to be. Yeah, Chrome and Android are both based on Linux, but they're really very different. And our goal is to design Although they keep trying to make OS X iOS for users. Across I really, people. Android has Chrome on it, so today, in a way, that's everything Chrome OS yeah, There was this report so that every extension well, written for Chrome, uh, the browser and OS would actually work in mobile apps, too. So that would be a way to unify the two. Right. But that was only in the developer version, not out yet uh, publicly. Right. Which really helps unify your experiences across all your screens. So two things we're going to talk about today. First, let's get started with Android. I talked about the growth in tablets. Let's take a look at the data. Obviously, there will be some Chrome announcements. Uh, the chart says it better than uh, anything else. You can see the rate at which tablets are accelerating. Compare the growth of tablets here to the sales of <clears throat> PCs annually. By 2013, by the end of 2013, consumers are going to buy more tablets every year than personal computers. This is a pretty amazing trend in computing. F and John just walked into Lee our studio. We from the Android team are Flew investing for our open a lot house. in tablets. Nice to have you, Jason. Let's take a look at how Android is doing in tablets. The <clears> chart <throat> behind me shows the total number of Android tablet activations. At the end of 2012, we were approaching 10 million tablet activations. And That's you can lot. see how the curve has changed but, uh, since then. And we are now at over 70 million tablet they're, they're activations. They're now starting to approach iPad numbers. If you look at the, the first half of something. 2013, by our accounts, and Androids, or, uh, one in iPad two tablets, down. almost one right. in two earning, tablets sold bit. worldwide, is based on Android. Part of what users do on, an, uh, on Android tablets is really spend time on applications sold, uh, and digital Apple sold uh, 58 million so iPads in fiscal 2012. we're investing a lot in Google Play because it really completes the user experience on tablets. Just over the last year, Google Play has made tremendous strides. The breadth and depth of content and applications you find on Google Play yeah. is Tablets amazing. Altogether. Altogether, a yeah. year ago, users had downloaded 20 billion applications in Google Play. Today, that number is over 50 billion. A year ago, if you look at revenue per user, a metric really important for developers and shows how consumers are engaging with their applications. Revenue per user has increased for developers by 2.5x just in the last 12 months ago. Just in the last 12 months alone, and the trend is continuing. A year ago, we had half a million applications in Google Play. Today, we it's are at over one million the, applications. 
misapprehensions the largest that, uh, collection of they have to correct is that developers make more on iOS and, and thousands of they're really catching up now. Content. So we're very excited about newer developments in Google Play. We will a total talk about, side note, but which really who has problems the making experience. money are not Android. Let's put back right. the tablet really. growth chart. <laughs> these, uh, he's not counting who no. Nexus Seven. You know, we viewed it. It is one of the reasons which really accelerated. Let's put this the in the perspective. I mean, Apple tablet. expects to sell 120. Nexus is uh, the program. I'm sorry. By which uh, we work with our partners. With our ecosystem, that's the number I had it here. Push the 102 million possible. iPads in 2013. And Nexus 7 did that for alone. tablets. We worked very closely with Asus, the CEO of Asus, Johnny Shi. So, where do you is think here. this is leading to? We're talking about the Nexus 7. There's Thank Asus as the CEO, Johnny Shi. So, we so very closely that's, with Johnny and this of course, who Asus makes the Nexus 7. Nexus 7. It was launched to great reviews as well as real excitement from users. In fact, since its launch, the Nexus 7 alone, that, that one device alone, has accounted for greater than 10% of Android tablets. It's sold. interesting. In, in just and a year, the Nexus 7 has really started worldwide. to feel old and slow. The Tegra 3 processor is like considerably Japan. slower than any of the phones out, the top phones now. And that's a, the, I think the rumors are that basically the Nexus 7 would be like the Nexus 4 in performance. It would be just as yeah. fast. Yeah, it's got the same, same processor, yeah. same. same amount of RAM, so it'll be yeah. up to speed. A little higher screen resolution, of course. Mm -hmm. So over the Not past higher. 12 months, Android Hopefully it doesn't end up deteriorating at the same rate that this that the last generation seven seemed to. Isn't it amazing? It's I mean, weird. No, and it's and it's pretty universal. Most people with the the previous seven say that it slowed down a lot over it's just one year. It may be it, I think it has problems with the Jelly Bean four two two. There's also a lot of people wondering if just the, the RAM and it accounted for and, uh, wearing out. Great just the RAM, yeah, just over time, it's not riding to the RAM properly. Mine seems very slow, uh, yeah, very sluggish. The Nexus 7 launched uh, a year ago, and it's a great device, and it's been a huge success really for but Remember, it was $200. Uh, first of all, it's an incredibly uh, portable tablet. The price point is what's remarkable on this thing. And as uh, apps have second, emerged for Android tablets, really it's become tablets. a very competitive product at that price. Mm -hmm. well, I think the Amazon Kindle Fire HD, that kind of showed up the Nexus 7 yeah. at a low price right point away. because they were worried about the ecosystem, not necessarily the device making money. Right. And we know that Google didn't really make a profit on the Nexus 7, but it definitely seems old and dated compared to the competition right now. Yeah. And we're going to try Time to follow to up. Mm -hmm with another one. Here we go. So today, together with, together with ASUS, uh, we're announcing uh, the new Nexus 7. And um, surprise, the Nexus 7. It was in his pocket. He has massive pockets. <laughs> I've heard that about Hugh Joe Barra. Yeah. A very tepid applause from the audience who's like, seen okay. everything yeah. about this already. Even got the same right. wallpaper. Same wallpaper. That cracks me up. We're staying focused on exactly the same things that made the original Nexus 7 <laughs> fact, so successful. It's indistinguishable in many respects. Performance and of as course, excited as you were uh, before. Of Google. So first of Not all, anymore. we designed the new Nexus 7 to be even more portable and even more comfortable than the original model. It's thinner. It's super slim. It's almost two millimeters thinner than the original Nexus 7. We kept the same display size. <laughs> Uh, no. but reduced the side bezels by almost three millimeters on each side. So the device is now close to six millimeters narrower. It's also 50 grams lighter. These are all and you're going to notice these amounts. improvements right away the first time you pick up one of these devices. Yeah, maybe. It actually makes a huge difference when you're holding it with one I think hand. The, deep, the screen it's DPI a is really more comfortable the key. grip. Yeah, 323 DPI is good. And of course, it fits easily into that. your purse that you yeah. uh, or your jacket pocket. Now, in building this device, we really focused the original on Nexus simplifying to core. Seven was twelve hundred by eight hundred, which is a, nowadays black a, at the time was a lot. <laughs> nowadays, what a difference a year makes! It's amazing. Well, that's a lousy phone resolution <laughs> at this point. F and dead. We knew we did it right the first time, so we made the new exactly the same as the last one. <laughs> nice. Uh, they added a camera on the back. Now that's big. Now let's hear about that camera. Now. Um, when you're using a tablet yes. um, to read a magazine, is that five megapixels? I've read five megapixels. Five. According to Best Buy. Yeah. Yeah, Best Buy. Now, if you just want to do email, <laughs> it's a vast improvement on the no megapixel one on the back. Right? Yeah, zero megapixels. Yeah. Yeah. Or infinite megapixels. And that's, that's exactly where the new Nexus 7 really shines. Um, the new Nexus 7 has the same 7 inch display size, but packing in a lot more pixels. We're going from 1280 by 800 in the original Nexus 7 to true 1080p 1920 HD at 920, uh, 1920 that's a, by 1220 That's a lot of pixels in a seven inch display. That makes the Nexus yeah, 7 the, the world's highest right resolution seven inch yeah, yeah. 
This, by the way, exactly matches what Best Buy pixels per inch. The, uh, you, you do lose a little bit of, of screen size because they have the on-screen navigation. Does that matter to most yeah. people? Uh, well, that's consistent with the current navigation. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I, it bothers me, but you can put a. Uh, even sharper than the highest You can increase it a little bit with uh, and of course an alternate launcher. Get rid of at least the Google search bar. In native 1080p HD resolution, which is completely unprecedented Can't for a 7 inch tablet. Of course, there's more to a great tablet than just. It's quite a schism in the Android universe. Uh, the Nexus hardware 7 buttons represents uh, uh, on-screen buttons. Pictures and videos. Samsung has opted for the hardware button. The Nexus line just does away with it entirely, right? There's yeah, no that's Nexus the Google. Device. That's the pure Google experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Motorola devices are following the same. Um, no buttons, heavy in display that allows you to watch movies in 1080p me. is excellent. But to that, we added <laughs> you owned all dual those. stereo speakers, <laughs> so you can finally hear your movie or your game soundtrack in stereo. And we've also I think you'd expect with Google Fraunhofer, devices, the people who invented MP3 Motorola, compression, as some of you might know, to not have uh, to integrate buttons. their latest virtual Future surround going sound forward, technology into the because that's really what Google's pushing. Mm -hmm. It immerses you in the soundtrack. It's like a 5.1 sound that's system. That's interesting. But just using yeah, they're the definitely device. orienting this Nexus 7 more to the landscape, I think, than the portrait. Yeah, and I did notice, uh, I did notice this different speaker configuration in the Best Buy uh, article. And the, and the logo is landscape. Yep. On the back. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Interesting. Which might play more into the Chromecast aspect of you yeah. know, zapping your screen to a TV set. All right, uh, the new Nexus 7 also features front and rear facing cameras, uh, front facing camera. Uh, so while they drill the front of the building, we might want to just cut and our also mics added and listen. A five megapixel rear camera goes more for photos than drilling. and 1080p video. Um, let's talk about performance. Uh, the new Nexus 7 ships with a quad core 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset. What is it, it packs a CPU that's 80% faster and a GPU that delivers four times the graphics frame rate compared to the original Nexus 7. This is, of course, particularly great news for gamers, which we're going to come back to in just a bit. Uh, we've also doubled the system memory uh, to two gigabytes, which means bit. you this can have more apps in RAM. Huge and of difference. Course, app switching. From, in fact, the top of the line phones will have faster you get stuff. All the networking and uh, options, two gigs of RAM is a little bit of a disappointment. Bluetooth well. 4.0. And we're shipping a but 4G at $229. Dollars, yeah. This is, this is about more. It's you couldn't unlocked. expect much more. And in the U.S. you'll be able to have an LTE, LTE model. Data I don't know why you have a big press conference and spend so far 19 device, minutes going over this. Yeah. It's not that big of an update. It's a nice update. I'm not trying to denigrate that. Just, it seems like they're overhyping it. Yeah, maybe. That's you know. what they do now, though. This is just a way to get a lot of attention. Um, and, but Sarah, and, and doesn't this look pretty competitive against an iPad, especially given the rumors that Apple is not going to update the iPad Mini? That's what you're competing against. Yeah, absolutely. And this looks a lot, in many respects, a lot better. Absolutely. For half the uh, this price. is it, this looks better than ever. However, we're sitting here going, why are they spending so much time right. on these specs? It's like that's, well, that's just. Us. I mean, that's kind of that's par for me. the course that's now. That's us. I, you know, I, I, I just look. They have to pretend it didn't leak. I guess. You can't say, hey, I used right. to. Right. Yeah. to, but most people would. They came yeah. out of the press Not conference unusual. like, you already know everything. Let's uh, just go Here we home. go. Jelly Bean 4.3. Let's see if he talks about that at all. Um, and I'd like to show you a couple of new features in Android 4.3. <clears throat> So first off, uh, tablets are lightweight and portable devices that are perfect for sharing around the house. Um, in Android 4.2, we added multi-user support uh, so that each person, each person sharing the device can have their separate individual space and they can customize their tablet experience. Now, those individual spaces are really handy, but sometimes you want to control what each person can actually do in their iPad. space. So in Android 4.3, we're adding <clears throat> Excuse me. We're adding. We're taking one step ah, further. This is the we're kid mode. Restricted. Oh, profiles. like Windows Phone. With yeah. restricted profiles, you can control access to content and apps at a user level. And the Kindle Fire. Actually. So, for example, parents yeah, can have something similar peace too. of mind this, about this is, this is which family members can be baked into Android. So even and you know, and you got to think when parents are looking at an iPad so versus. What you're looking at here is my an Android seven, tablet. Price is going to be a big factor. JD and if I can get one for my kid that has a kid mode, mm -hmm. and now most of the apps are there, that makes it a pretty compelling product. Notice Absolutely. they're highlighting the just, kid features. I've just downloaded this app uh, that you're looking at here. Uh, it's called 
Beauty and the Beast. It's a really cool interactive storybook and puzzle game um, for for well, Apple. Would rather have you Junior buy an iPad Mini for each kid. Great on the Nexus 7. No multi-user that way. Um, why don't we check out? Like, go puzzles. ahead. Take our one device and spread it around the house. So, each puzzle in here, as you can probably tell, is an in-app purchase. And for now, I'm oh, oh that's fun. That, you don't the say that for two parents. No. <laughs> no, I think he's trying to show the restricted profile. Uh, yeah, oh, very, oh, okay, oh. fair. <laughs> he's like, this is the problem. Jason's going, no. <laughs> restricted profile is the solution. About? No. So here, now so my kid logs in. this is Space, in. which he has customized. Um, he's got a picture of his sister, and that's actually him, I believe, on his uh, <laughs> wallpaper. He's your kid, it? Like Allegedly. It looks cool. Uh, let's take a look at the apps. So these are the apps that I've given Jay Jr. access oh, to in his that's restricted great. profile. Screen grab of like that. I'm sure I can find an app um, in there for my kids. Star yeah. um, Shake a phrase. This and is of course, this is really great. And, and also for schools, I so think. Let's take yeah. a look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Android 4.3 allows an app to behave differently when it's running in a restricted profile. Uh, let me show you that now. Uh, let's you may have just nailed it right there. Again. Remember uh, a few months ago, they were talking about expansion uh, for so, educational uh, uh, situations. And if they're rolling out online, Nexus devices to all these different places, the they need to have restrictive yet. profiles yeah. and independent yeah. profiles That's for these devices yep. that are shared in the classroom. Yep. Shared all the classroom. purchasing yep. functionality and only exposes to a restricted profile See, content the that's already been bought. These puzzles are really easy for school kids, but impossibly hard for a Googler. Um, pretty typical. We're going to move on. All right. Uh -huh. uh, in right. addition to parental controls, uh, restricted <laughs> profiles are super Google. useful for a number of other usage scenarios where you need to limit access in some way. Um, for example, retail kiosks or point of sale systems. All of that and certainly a lot more is now possible with Android 4.3. In Android 4.3, we're adding support. Um, for Bluetooth smart technology, which is also known as Bluetooth low energy. So this enables you to pair our, uh, your Android phone or reasons. tablet with low power devices like That's very important. If you've got a, a device like a Nexus 7 with a large Jay display and the battery doesn't really change, you want to make sure that Bluetooth isn't shirts. ripping away that energy. Uh, it's made by so Bluetooth Tastic, smart, also you can pair with all those devices and you're still not killing the battery life. Um, and here you can see Jay's heart rate live, 136 BPM. Whoa. Looks like he's feeling not quite as relaxed uh, right now. <laughs> See, look, what, did you just go uh, run? Uh, Jay, why don't you get moving? Get moving? You guy's going to die. <laughs> he's, already, he's already at my peak heart Me too. <laughs> okay. He's an Iron Man. Can't have you collapsing before the end of the that day. That is awesome. 158. So if wow. you work at Google, you will get exercise. Okay. Um, no when. So in Android 4.3, we're upgrading our OpenGL support. And I don't know if you're, you're experiencing this fit with Flex. Is, uh, yes, 3.0. But it didn't look like I had to pair it. Once the app ran, it kind of always sees it. There's, it, it doesn't show up as a paired Android Bluetooth item. It's, Bluetooth hand, is handled differently in this. Standard. It just knows. Well, yeah, because it, just it just kind of has to, has to be on the It pairs with an yeah, app, yeah. but it just kind of knows. It really raises the bar for photorealistic 3D graphics. Uh, let me show you two really cool demos. That, this is something they desperately uh, The first one is a simulation a that's made by Japanese developer Silicon Studios. Count, but also, uh, it was a real failing on the Nexus 7. On top of a shiny marble sluggish. table in the middle of a cathedral. Um, OpenGL ES3 uses 32 bits of data per color for every pixel during the computation process. And that's exactly what creates a new level of photorealism that's really remarkable. You know, for example, you can see incredibly high quality reflection here, not only on the table, but also on the metal rings and the stones. Um, also note, if you go up a little bit, uh, Jay, the stunning bloom lighting effect in the stunning. back of the cathedral. I'm stunned. Um, I can't speak. It's really great. Okay. The next demo is called The Chase, and it's made by Unity. It's a futuristic car chase scene that really shows off the kind of jaw-dropping visuals that are made possible with OpenGL ES3. So we're going to slow down the scene here so you can see all the details. Um, I want you to first pay attention uh, when you see the character to the self-shadow effect uh, important uh, that you're going to see on the character's face. Development system. So, uh, so what you're seeing here is, is complex, again, kind is of a complex 3D object actually casting a shadow on crypto itself. Crypto outreach to the That's obviously his face, which makes for 
incredible and unprecedented photorealism um, on a game, for example. So this is supposed to be possible on the new um, Nexus 7. OpenGL ES3 uses a new texture it. compression format. That's very impressive. Also makes I can hardly switch applications without it being this smooth. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like, <laughs> you'll wait. It's a big improvement. The detail yeah. that you see in the and I'm kind of waiting for that. I'm looking for a reason to spend another 229 bucks because, you know, frankly, this does a lot of what I wanted to do. But it is sluggish. It's the sluggishness has gotten to me. The feature of OpenGL ES3 is the ability to render an amorphic lens flare. Uh, these Abrams. are the J.J. Abrams style oh, horizontal man. lens flare that you You're can see. You're channeling. Who can, who, you, you can't know. say lens flare without saying J.J. Abrams. True. These days. Forever. You can also see the reflections that are caused it's by... It's kind of like Kleenex, right? It's like Kleenex. ...created here by the developer. Um, by the way, everything that you see here is rendered in real time. This is a hugely important 1080p resolution. category now for uh, iPhone uh, tablets. Three really takes They've become gaming platforms. Yeah, they really have. Competing strongly against the Vita and uh, other. Yeah, there was an article this morning that e Apple is EA's and biggest retail partner yeah, now exactly. because of iOS. Yeah. Okay. Uh, watching movies in 1080p resolution on a tablet is obviously amazing. I listen to Hugo actually, Barra talk most about of the premium features of Jelly Bean 4.3. Today is in standard definition. And that's usually related to content protection limitations that coverage. exist on HD content. So in Android 4.3, um, to help address this, we're introducing a new set of DRM APIs that enable oh. hardware-based encryption oh. and content protection. Yeah, everybody's doing it. You gotta do it. We're really thrilled. No. To they want those content today. partners on board. They uh, have to give them that. partners hmm. to take advantage. But this of this does make any any Android powered set top box really interesting. If you upgrade to 4.3, right. uh, 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 the next version, version of Ouya, or maybe uh, even the current uses, version, what can you get uh, out of it? Something for instance that Netflix insists on. Mm -hmm. streaming in 1080p HD quality. Netflix did not this appear, as you remember, on the Nexus 7 for a long time because of lack of VR. Monday, Nexus 7 is the first tablet to support it and give. Give you Netflix 1080p content uh, streaming uh, and uh, many more devices streaming. Streaming. That's, Yeah, that's how they got 1080p out yeah. of Netflix. Uh, there with are the DRM. many There's more important features and Oops. APIs Sorry. that uh, we're announcing with Android 4.3. Um, you can find a complete list of them uh, on Android.com as usual. Background Wi Fi location. So, Android 4.3 ships on the new Nexus 7. And uh, as I said earlier, and we're also pushing an update starting today uh, to the original again. Nexus 7, mm -hmm. the Nexus that 4, the, same. the Nexus 10, and Galaxy I'm Nexus. He just said that. Uh, the Google Play Edition will they update the, the Nexus 10? And the Galaxy S4 will also receive mm, an Android 4.3 update. Didn't it just very come soon. out? Like maybe so six months ago? Yeah. Overview of Android 4.3. Like I said, uh, the new Nexus 7 is the first device they're, that they're you're using with. Apple's naming. Uh, Convention, All right. Now, um, I want to take it's you on a Nexus quick tour of some Nexus of the latest 8. Google apps uh, so that you can see how great they look yeah. and work on the one Nexus 7. Systems up to date, no push yet. Really but they're still leaving a number. The super high resolution yeah. display. In well, it represents the size, right? So. Yeah, it's uh, let's take a look. So first off, this is Google Drive. Uh, we've added a new tile layout with previewed thumbnails. Which I saw that last night. It surprised me. You can even read my shopping list down here on the right without actually opening the document. Uh, he said 4.3 very soon for the Google edition uh, with uh, Galaxy S4 and HTC that One. That's very good that news for people who are wondering. Is this drive update um, new? I thought I saw this like two days ago. Yeah, yeah. Nexus 7. You can okay. edit online. I thought I saw it too. Yeah, I was using my Nexus yesterday. Since yeah. the docs, of course, are automatically so, synced between your device and Google. Yeah, it was it Nexus surprised me almost when I saw the um, for productivity on the go. tiles. Okay, let's check out the latest version of Chrome. Uh, browsing the web on Chrome on the new Nexus 7 is an amazing experience. With 323 pixels per inch, you can browse any do desktop site without ever having to zoom in because you're looking at This was a complaint I had with the old Nexus 7 that it didn't really uh, fully display also, web pages uh, easily. Goes it kind of had to still zoom and you still had the seven inch display. So even though it was a little larger yeah, than a phone, you still had the same pinch and zoom and right. I just didn't see the big benefit over a four inch phone. Right. But with this Another change in resolution, you'll be able to see the full screen. And I really do enjoy that with the uh, web uh, browser. Uh, in you know, the language, fact example, that iPad uh, sales are tailing uh, off uh, and uh, and the price on point on these is going to be $229 uh, starting, the top right here, uh, which is half the starting price of a... Well, I guess you have to compare it to the in a few mini. Seconds, you'll mm -hmm. see this so it's not half. English. It's about 50% um, of the mini. And, of course, any other page that you click on on this side from this here will also... This is pretty compelling. I would imagine a lot of people will uh, on Chrome for desktop. at least pause to think about an Android device. 
Uh, we recently launched a... Well, it depends on the retail availability, right? Apple's got that great Android store models. model. People That's come right. in, they play with uh, it, they right. love Google it. Google does not have a store. There, there's been all these rumors of Google's op uh, Google opening uh, stores. They have these little... Yeah, yeah, it seems like they ought to. Yeah. They've got little pop-up uh, stores in certain locations. But maybe if their retail presence increases, they can go, okay, Best Buy, don't just put it online in the store. Make sure they work. They did try that, of course, in the airports. With some airports, you can try a Chromebook. Yeah. You're going to see top-rated places in several different categories. Um, yeah, just like to check Samsung, out, just like Apple. Yeah. Um, want to try? Start small. Solo Media. All right. Bobby World in chat room says he so, saw a Google uh, section at awesome Best Buy. Layout, so that's which will show you uh, that would do done. You know, ratings, including the GAT ratings, if they're available. I do like uh, the new maps. It seems uh, a little uh, so less on. functional than the, the old maps. Really? On the on the tablet, you mean? It's a really particularly because I like it on the desktop. No, not on the desktop. On the on the app. Yeah, yeah. They've stripped back the app a little bit. Simplified as they are doing these days. It's cleaner, I guess. Yeah. Another Google app that the Nexus 7 is really perfect for is Hangouts. Uh, group video calls on Hangouts are really awesome. And one of my favorite features, which I want to make sure that you see, is screen sharing. So it looks like Jay is joining a call with some of his friends here. I think they're planning. You know, it's interesting because sort. Apple, uh, according to rumors, so is not doing right now, a, a Retina iPad Mini, may not even update the iPad Mini. And many have said, oh, they can't. You couldn't have good battery life. This is Retina. Mm -hmm. This is a Retina Mini. And they're saying nine hours HD playback. You know, even if it doesn't quite get that, that's still pretty good. It kind of puts the lie to... Yeah, what about... Uh, well, I've been very skeptical. I always thought with the with the Mini, I, I even yeah, said when the Mini came out, boy, I'd really, okay. why didn't they do Retina? I'm waiting for Retina. Uh, yeah. We're seeing higher res displays in Maybe Windows laptops. We're seeing them yeah. in phones. In, in phones. We're seeing them in every device, and Apple seems uh, really to be nice edit, dragging its feet with its portable devices. To think about Maybe it's just a profit margin situation. They just want to... Tim Cook says, they also man. sell an awful lot, and maybe a, a shortage of parts. I don't know. Right. If you can get nine hours HD um, video playback, right. I think that's good enough. So, um, we've yes. Looked, yeah. uh, lobster burgers also look uh, We're going to go back to slides now. That was, on, that was on the uh, screen there. Oh, lobster the burger? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I want I to be in that hangout. <laughs> <laughs> on the agenda, eats lots of eating. That's why I was kind of staring straight ahead. Now, there's a whole universe of amazing content out there in Google Play. And it really defines owning and using a Nexus 7 tablet. To tell you about this world of great content. T. Petty rocks Please in our uh, chat room. I presume Google a Tom Petty fan manager. points out that yeah. Apple needs the margin, whereas Google can pretty much sell these at cost and make up the difference uh, in other ways. Yeah, Google's just trying to get people to use Android, use have Android. advertising. That's we make money. Goal. Yeah, Amp Apple's a hard And they need company. mobile advertising particularly, so it makes sense. The stick growth that we saw in Android smartphones a couple of years back. Now, let's talk about the Android tablet ecosystem. It's come a long way, too. It's been spurred on by the launch of the original Nexus 7, and every app that you can think of is there. All the major brands and titles look beautiful on any size Android tablet. So Expedia, Evernote, the BBC, Pinterest, and Flipboard, they all look amazing on the new Nexus 7's beautiful display. Now, we're also making it easier to They're discover great but tablet apps on Google Play, too. Retina. For example, now when you're oh, browsing Apple's Google trademark Play name, on a right? tablet, so yeah, they can't use you can it. choose it's to super see high only pixel, apps uh, that are designed density. for tablets in the top lists. We've also added over 50 if you collections use the back that highlight part of outstanding your apps on tablets, too. <laughs> for example, here you can see Tablet 101 and Tablet Spotlight. You call it pupil. <laughs> now, another area where we're seeing great tablet app growth the pupil is display. Games. High resolution iPart display. The games display. category is on fire, with 19 out of the top EYE. 20 yeah. Yeah. Sure Apple, Apple never gets to with that. Android yeah. tablet games and new titles launching immediately Google on Corny. Android. Nice one, Ace. Now, at Google <laughs> I.O. in May, we announced our new gaming platform for Android, iOS, and the web, Google Play Game Services. It has features like multiplayer, leaderboards, and more. And in just two months, already hundreds of games have already added Google, Google Play Game yeah. Services. Yeah, they're really spending a lot of time of hammering home things we already know about. Obviously, so now, it's, they we want, want people to charge pay attention, attention to these more. By bringing together your friends and your games via a new hub, a new app, it's called Google Play Games. Well, Let's remember what made Apple was the ecosystem, was okay. a unified ecosystem. So and Google, as it approaches Google those capabilities with the Play games, Store, with music, games, with now the games, um, it and makes sense for them to start reminding people that the I Apple love. ecosystem isn't the this only is ecosystem. And you can buy a Google tablet now and be part of another ecosystem and get all of the same capabilities. 
And Google also just redesigned their web interface for the Play Store. It makes it a lot more like the Android version. Uh, it's yeah. very, very easy to use, so you can have that consistent experience. So now they have a great web store. Then you don't have to even have a download of a client like iTunes to go through their app right. store. It's a right. real big thing. And I love Boom. It's kind of like the Windows ecosystem has become the old Android, where people say, "Well, right. they still don't have the apps." Yeah, Nobody right. says that about Android anymore. Not anymore. No. Comfortably in first place. But if we swipe to the right, let's have a look at the public leaderboard here. And this plays on Google like Plus, of course. A little bit more competitive. I'm sadly more more so we saw this at Google I.O., really the stitching together of what looked like islands uh, <sighs> into a okay. unified whole. And Google now, Plus, of course, is the hub of all of this. Well, the Nexus 7 Power, they're so going to the claim Google lots more gaming. Games, if you're going to have a lot more gaming, you need Google to have some kind of experience to tie that together with Booyahs and every other device, especially through Hangouts. There's lots of different things that can make this gaming experience very, very unique, very powerful. Uh, thanks to Google. And, and it's not just, you know, they're also competing against PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, we've got, we've gone 37 minutes without saying fragmentation, so I just want to make, take care of that. <laughs> no, that's Apple that says fragmentation. And by the way, Apple is as fragmented now. I like, I'm, I, I'm, uh, let's go to the Google Play Store. Can we buy this yet? And you'd probably, you can pre-order it at Best Buy. Yeah, no, really. Let's talk about why the new Nexus 7 is the perfect gaming device. They're still selling the old Nexus 7, unfortunately. Display. And that one was 199 This one's going to be 229 Screaming fast She's CPU, showing it. CPU, or is that you? Open That's GLA me. <laughs> confused. Now, many developers are already taking advantage of these capabilities, and we're going to take a peek now at a couple of new games. First, let's take Again a look at Kenny's favorite. This is Riptide GP2 from Vector Unit. Okay. What do you do at breakfast? Riptide GP2 Apparently. builds on the original oh, supercharged jet ski been bugging me the last couple of days. Whenever I go to the Play Store on my computer, it says, take Google with you. Get the Google search app on your phone. Okay? Sure. I've got it on my phone. <laughs> I've got it on all my phones. I've never seen that before. This is brand new. It happened, started uh, yesterday. And I... It's a little annoying given that, you know, I would suspect a lot of these people. Who's this aimed at? iPad users? And you're logged in. It's certainly every Android device has. Yeah, I'm logged in. It should know. So when you hit OK, what happens? Does it take that iTunes? No, not no, it's just, uh, it just tells me how wonderful Google Search is. On every device, Android, iPhone, and Windows 8. Yeah, this is a, that an is a Chromebook. Where's a Meyer would not have this? <sighs> Download. The Google search app, and then it shows you Android, iPhone, iPad, Windows 8. It may be that Windows 8 uh, the is the big push. That's the newest mm. version. Like, we made an app. Go use yeah, it. Yeah, that, that is new. And the shadows even but that's, even oh, yeah, that's a little annoying to see that at the top of the Play Store every time I go there. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll only be once. This looks like uh, Assassin, uh, Assassin's Creed or Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia. I thought this was Rip. No, looks pretty Rip nice. This is this Prince of Persia? Yep. Okay, Jay. That's oh, yeah, there it is. There's the sword right there. fight. I love Prince of Persia. That's a great game. Zap. Looks really good. Jordan Mechner's a classic. Will be available tomorrow on Google Play. Oh, buying it. Buying it. Finally, Arena. Yeah, you going to try it on your old Nexus? No, what happens. buying the new Nexus <laughs> and it. You won't work on the new Nexus. I can guarantee that. All time. I would like to point out that the racing game First, we can see that these is about as good as the racing games were on the original playbook. Yeah, this looks like Ouya, wow. frankly. This is not I mean, super high quality. The playbook no, no, sucks for lots of other reasons, but it can do this. Yeah, yeah. This is, and this is not uh, this is not the state-of-the-art in gaming, but, yeah. but it's good enough for a tablet. I, did, I just feel like Google's telling me, like, we really want you to talk about these points. They're important to us, and I understand they're important to them, but I'm not convinced. Right. This is a press preference. Yeah. So, it is. This is these are this is talking points. You can see what yeah, but I, it, it's one thing to, to come out and wow the press and get right. them all talking and excited about it. I'll be curious if anybody really takes up some of these lines. Asphalt Eight will be available on Google Play on August eighth. Prince of Persia, Riptide GP2, and Asphalt 8 are just three of the many upcoming like games launches that are taking advantage of the new Nexus 7 capabilities. The awesome display, the stereo sound, and the fast performance. Stereo sounds they nice. One of the things Google I would love to see is front-facing so Yeah, I agree. That is such a nice feature. 
The new Nexus 7 is the ultimate gaming device, but there's more to it than Not that. Not quite ultimate. I don't think it is. It's actually also great for reading books because it's lightweight and it's got that It's a pretty decent It's a very good gaming device. It's an yeah. okay well, gaming device. ultimate means last. It's the last one. Nobody's making any more after that. <laughs> Let's see him say penny. They're shutting down the category. Now, it's with students in mind that we're announcing a new content category on Google Play. Textbooks. Ah. So instead of yeah. a 400 this is the ultimate page gaming machine, I'm not going to yep. read on aim, this thing. Aim right at Apple. Books brings you awesome features yep. like search, right at Apple. bookmarks, Chromebook. highlighting, the Chromebook notes, is actually a great even night education you don't device. Your and I think uh, a tablet, you can especially with some of the features they're adding, makes a lot of sense. the web or on your Android or iOS device. Uh, maybe I'm a little old school. I always want to write in the margins of these things, and without a stylus, it just doesn't work for me. Of higher education right. titles from notes, all so five that's not good enough for me. No, you just want that. It's that there, same there are advantages to paper. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's be frank, but sure. There's also huge costs, mm -hmm. and uh, so you can buy textbooks purchase a rent textbooks for six months. This that's has become awesome. a even with paper textbooks has become a big deal is renting textbooks. So uh, they offered this at the Henry School and at 50% of the face value of the, oh, wow. of the textbook. And then rent all your textbooks instead. But if you do it in electronic rental, that's better we'll because, be frankly, a rented textbook might be a little August. beat up. Yeah. Plenty of time to get ready for the new school year. I just remember and your bill. backpack won't be so heavy. They said, uh, we, I asked, can you underline in the textbook if you rent it? They said, oh, yeah, you can do it. Mark it up all you want. Just, uh, thanks, uh, we, we ask you to return so, it without, uh, without, without water damage here. or blood. Um, the, uh, oh. the and, said, what? What? <laughs> and he said, no, I believe it or not, occasionally we do get these books back uh, with some blood on them, and we are, don't want they're those. They're blunt objects if you want to hurt somebody. <laughs> there will be blood. But again, something you don't have to worry. Now, here's a good face-to-face uh, -face comparison. Yep. Uh, Dual stereo speakers, plus we've added virtual <laughs> the blank performance on the Nexus 7 2012 is blank. It, ain't got no it didn't have performance. Four times as fast. What the hell? Double the RAM. That's weird. Why would they leave it that? It's a, base, it's a baseline comparison. It was They're a Tegra 1.8 times the CPU, uh, four times the CPU uh, to the faster. It does look The new Nexus 7 will be av available in oh, here we go. different models. 16, 16 gig, gigabyte, 32 gig Wi-Fi, wi and an model, LTE 32, 32 gig gigabyte version wi with uh, and a 32 presumably gigabyte Verizon or AT&T. I'm not sure. $229. Are they going to bring a Nexus? To Verizon again? 229 for the 16 gig. <laughs> Keep what did he? Well, uh, the 16 gig 349. Read it. Models will be on sale next Tuesday. 269 for the 32 gig. On Google Play. 40 40 buck and premium, and then 349 for the uh, LTE. Starting on Tuesday. Didn't leave that slide up long. Enough. Available <laughs> July 30th. Wi-Fi models at Best Buy. Matt, what a shot. Weird. And Amazon. From all, the, from all of these retailers. I don't see Play Store Windows. on there. Uh, the 32 gigabyte HSN. 4G LTE model. Wow. Is that a Google experience, though, no matter what? Aha, yeah. T-Mobile, AT&T, and, and Verizon. And will be available in coming So they are bringing Spring another seven. Nexus to Verizon. Nexus Interesting. <laughs> yeah. In Canada. <laughs> See how that goes. Canada on uh, Rogers, I presume. Spain, France. UK, Japan, Japan. Germany, France. Korea, and Australia. Also in coming weeks. With more countries in coming to follow weeks, could be very a soon. month, could be a year. We don't know. Yeah. Okay. Sprint be mad that they don't now have this? Now that you've seen all one of the big four out of it, of this new device, Sprint really doesn't have LTE. Really I mean, it does, but not. Uh, T-Mobile gets the LTE nature, version. Uh, T-Mobile got the LTE, though. You're right. Yeah. I, I would have hoped that it have HSPA+, Plus, sound, which actually is pretty good on T-Mobile. All the amazing experiences that you just saw. I just get the Wi-Fi. 269. What's 32 really gig Wi-Fi. That's pretty good. And for the Nexus devices, no SD card expansion or micro SD card expansion because that's the way Google likes it. So when you decide to order it, just make sure you get the biggest you can. Yeah. So Although I have to say on the Google Experience uh, OS, when you have a pure OS, usually you have a lot of free space. Let me just check what the free space is with um, the old Nexus. Google, what is glossophobia? Glossophobia, or speech anxiety, is the fear of public speaking. Well, I got it. Google, what's a blunt? It's the opposite of a sharp object. Google, how do I kill my mother? The textbook. Careful. This is preeminently the time to speak the truth frankly and boldly. This is good. This is cute. He's learning how to be a public this speaker. This is no unsolvable problem if we face it wisely and courageously. <laughs> I like this, actually. It's, it's very sweet. You too can be for FDR. Aw, oh, message from mom at Google now. How does that How does that work? So I have a lot of free space on this uh, 16 gig. I have 8 gigs free after a lot of apps. 
some audio. I've got a couple books on here. So that's what's nice about a Google experience is, is they really do have a lot of free space. And they have like Samsung's and uh, HTC's and stuff. All their cloud services too. So like right. my stuff on music.google.com right. I whatever. think a 32 gig is probably uh, enough. enough unless you want to put a giant library on there. How do I ask a girl out? How did he get to that? <laughs> because uh, just, one of the one of the girls. Now. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's gonna exactly. project. The same I don't understand way. how it oh, makes yeah. you a better public speaker. <laughs> I understand how it makes you be able to talk to your device better. <laughs> Maybe just trust Google a lot more now. Can I uh, talk to my <laughs> team. Uh, I've been living on my Nexus Seven for the past few weeks, and the screen really, really shines, and That's uh, it truly really makes living on it. Experience. Right. Uh, you can all check you it out. Have to in the demo it up. upstairs. Mm. One of the things uh, the clips and the demo showed is how much people are using digital content again, on these tablets and the newer types of devices, especially online videos, which is the next trend we want to talk to you about. There is a huge growth in the number of online videos being consumed. Let's take a look at some stats. You're watching live Every coverage month, of there are Breakfast with Sundar, Google's online July 24th announcement. Videos. So far, our Nexus 7. If you take a look at the top our uh, breaking news is always brought to you by Slingbox. You can get your Slingbox Netflix at Best Buy or Amazon or check alone. it out at slingbox.com slash twit. The best way to uh, put TV your home TV system on your Nexus 7. Yeah. Speaking of watching videos. And what are users doing on smartphones and tablets? The number of online videos they are watching there has you go. increased by 2.7x just in the last year alone. So this is a pretty amazing trend. But it's mainly happening. That 49.4% number for Netflix plus phones, YouTube combined share of peak laptops, download streaming. <laughs> Half of all that. But you know, I got to point out that about 40% of that is Netflix. So, uh, no, actually, isn't it? No, it's 25% 20, of all North American streaming is Google any time of day. Well, that number should be bigger because Netflix is. Wasn't Netflix 40% Netflix is uh, like 38% in peak time. Right. Well, isn't that what he just said? So He said, I, I think that was all. Oh, all, all streaming. Jeez yeah. Louise. But only 15% of households in a given week managed to figure out how to send an online video to their television. So we really want to make this better. And we have taken a solution based on Chrome. And Twit's temperature. Because Chrome at its foundation, simplicity is at the foundation of Chrome, and it's really designed to work across screens. It runs on all operating systems and can help bridge uh, together. Now we know why they didn't say Chrome OS and bring in this online videos is it Android plus to television Chrome. Well. Mm. I was so wondering to talk about, about mm -hmm. how we are using Chrome to solve this problem, let me invite Mario Keros. Thank you, Sundar. Like Chrome, our design approach to bringing great uh, online entertainment to your TV is simplicity. One barrier to viewing online content on TV is getting your TVs connected in the first place. Our first design principle is to build a product with as close to zero setup time must be as the, possible. The Chromecast. Too. Now, once yeah. you're set Here's up, an image from the uh, store. I don't know where this came from, but our chat room passed this along. Never Chromecast, the easiest way to enjoy online video on your TV, $35. It's a MHL plug-in. So that's got to be one of the, an Android stick that they're going to offer. Mm -hmm. You need an MHL TV for that to work. Though. Yeah. Yes, but at least they're the not doing a different standard from Roku MHL. Because I feel like they've... Well, I presume MHL. I'm, yeah. I, I don't see it, but I presume yeah. that's how it is. I hope so. All of the Android phones and Android tablets iPhones, so is the iPads, new Google TV Chrome? Windows desktops, just Chrome? Mac and Chrome OS laptops should I'm just confused. work well, with your Perhaps because the actual browser Unlike in Google TV got blocked by everybody. Chrome right. will not Make it a browser. To have like the, the heck with it. It's all web-based. On all your devices. Today, we're going to show you how we can make this happen. This it is interesting. with a new device from Google. Here's the Chromecast. And I happen to have one right here in my pocket. Man, these guys <gasps> have big pockets. No it kidding. is a They're always carrying Introducing things. Chromecast, the easiest way to bring your favorite online entertainment to your TV. Oh, it's a thumb drive. You'll notice <laughs> that Chromecast is a small. 64 gig thumb it's drive holds all the video length. you want. <laughs> just we hook it up to your computer, use torrents, <laughs> put them on here, sneaker net, play them. Because it's built What's with the string? Uh, what, what are the, the kids wear strings it's on their... What is that, a love... Version. Well, you should ask Google now. Partner like. bracelet with some... Yeah, what is with the Once string? Once you take it out of its beautiful clean box... Because <laughs> you can't take it off. All you have to do is plug it into uh, HDMI. any HDMI input on your TV. Any HDMI input? Power through USB, connect to your home Wi-Fi, and huh. you're ready to kick back... So USB watch. power, mm -hmm. 
Chromecast won't clutter your So this is not an MHL cast. solution, no. it's, it's which makes sense. Behind your TV. It makes this device work on pretty much any TV. Let me tell you about how you're going to have wires going from the go USB port. Most TVs down. do have USB ports, so you could once, once Chromecast is plugged in, there, that's all MHL. Really and if it doesn't, you just YouTube power over TV. HDMI, right? right. Yeah. You just go to the same YouTube. Maybe if you have MHL, you don't have to. You're already do familiar with on your phone, see that? tablet, Chrome. or laptop, and you wow. will see Google TV is now Chrome in the UI. You oh, simply I see. press the cast button. Makes sense. So this is a video. This is what Apple TV does with AirPlay. Chromecast. Yeah, but since Chrome works on any operating system app, on any device, this is right. much bigger. You can, only do, in. you can only do the web, but that's not what people care about. And plays it on your TV. It's not going to work for presentation or something like that. Is that. Yeah, probably not going to work for... Chromecast is now live on the uh, Play Store. Probably not going to work for media direct and from your device to the TV. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly This is the cue. Yeah. Meanwhile, they just took it out of the mall. And removes the amplifier, which was important. From your phone tablet or laptop now they're highlighting youtube does it mean i can only play youtube or they're just highlighting youtube now i would guess that's a, an example because yeah. if they don't like include play netflix, capability right? then can i play netflix that would be nice okay thank Hulu. you mario so Hulu would be a aka point. really excited to show you chromecast mm -hmm. in action so for today's demo We've gone ahead and brought Q actually went and re-downloaded separately. It didn't stream it from your device to right. the Q. I'm guessing this doesn't stream from your device to the uh, Chromecast either. But it's not like DLNA. It's not like AirPlay. It doesn't just. We're going to show you how Let's see. He's going to do it. Can control this TV using Chromecast. And for those in the room, we're going to be uh, placing the TV feed on the outside monitors and the devices on the inside monitors. All right. So let's get started. So let's say I'm in my living room, and I'm hanging out with my friends. And I want to show them one of my favorite YouTube videos. Well, I can do it on a small little phone, but it's much better doing this, this big, beautiful This is a very popular screen. thing for kids to do. So let's show, yeah. show you how you'll, we'll do it. So yeah, he did. I'm looking at the, one of the live blogs from Engadget, and, and it says Chromecast will pull the info you requested from the cloud. Right. Every day. Play it every so it's, I'm already logged in. So it's basically passing along a URL, channel, essentially. Oh, that's interesting. Which is kind of what the Q so did. Yeah, that's exactly what the Q did. So it's a browser in the Chromecast. It's not the LNA. No. You're giving it a command. Yep. Is the new doing, cast button. Because it's connecting to your Wi-Fi, it's it's reaching out through Wi-Fi and doing it itself. It allows you to send that YouTube video to different devices. In this case, we're going to pick living room, which is the name oh, of the Chromecast I connected to this TV. So now let's now can I turn my TV. Nexus Q into so Chromecast? Here, it's actually pretty subtle, <laughs> but really cool. Chromecast doesn't, doesn't officially on exist. No, I don't think so. <laughs> switching into right input, totally. and now playing YouTube in HD on the TV. Oh, please not! No, no, the Lumineers. We are your Song That's it. that will never die. It's a simple press oh, this is a different song. Leo. Oh, it's not no. Hey Ho? No. no, this oh, is hey. You belong to me. I belong to you. You So now we can show you how easy it is to control that YouTube video from your phone. So I can do simple things like pause the video. Did he say that it automatically switches the, the, the uh, TV device like to the right the input? Volume. So let's go ahead and bring the sound back that. to full volume. That'd be awesome. It's true. Chromecast turned on the TV, it changed it to the right input, the and started up the video. Phone that's correct. Yeah, that's, what, that's what it's saying. Tap it, toggle turns the TV, switches the TV. It's pretty cool. Wow. How now, the best that? part of YouTube is being inspired to find must other be the fun videos to watch. So let's say one of my yeah, friends you can control things remembers the cool videos so she just that saw must be it. about Lindsay Sterling. Well, I can go to my phone and do a search. Might not work on every TV. Notice I'm doing the search without disrupting what's actually happening on the TV. Once we pick a video, we can either play it now, but all my friends are still cue watching this, this great video. That's the cue. So instead, we're going to go ahead and add it to a TV queue. Where we'll continue to play TV after this queue. video is done. Mm -hmm. And pretty quickly, we can add a few videos to the TV queue. So instead of stealing Just the stream, like that, you're queuing it. I've created a playlist with, with my friends. should have been. I, I want to play the next video. Okay. Now, you got next. Just step back for a second. On the Chromecast, the not queue anymore. We just did. Well, I mean, you had now, queuing on the queue as well, but in the music Jeff, the, the, uh, side of things, you could steal it. the queue had you, you had that party mode to party where everybody could right. queue up uh, the list. The great thing is I didn't have to learn anything new. If you know I how can't to remember if it was also part of the YouTube control as well. On your TV. 
I mean, the price on this thing is the ridiculous now, price, $35. I still need to be able to use yeah, my phone is, for you other put things. put one on every TV at right. that point. So is let's there, say, for example, it, it, it better be $35 if all it can do is YouTube. Party yet. And music. So I'll go ahead and oh, go to my... That's a bit, like it's on the front page. Yeah, it should, right now. It should it also do it is, but play it, movies. It, it doesn't actually go anywhere. <laughs> they prematurely launched it because it doesn't. It's been really spinning cool. for me for about ten minutes. It's an arrow ta chasing its tail. Because yeah, it's mesmerizing. Ouroboros. Chromecast is talking directly to YouTube, which means my phone is go free yeah, is to go and access all my favorite to applications. Which is exactly what I'd want. <sighs> it's a little depressing. So most of the time, I'm probably going to put my phone down, kick back, and Wouldn't watch TV. Wouldn't be able to watch Twitter on it, for instance. This, 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 what this does, though, and this is that channel conflict that bugs me play. about YouTube and Google, we don't is it your if you're streaming on YouTube Live, you're part I'm still of it. In control. But if you're not, so you're not. Wake up my phone. Without well, even that's a good question. Will I this have access to all of YouTube? To Will it have access to things like YouTube Live? It's pretty simple. So lock stream control of your queue. YouTube on TV becomes PDX familiar. Tyler says, by the way, simple you notice the song they played, I Belong to You, You Belong to no, Me. <laughs> I own you. I monetize you. <laughs> and it's too late for you. <laughs> it's too late to give it. You, one of us, <laughs> one of us. For everyone. And the and NS. So, so if you go directly example, to devices, it's not on the devices page. It's iPhone. just on the front page. And in this it case, just mocks you from the front page. Kind of the worst iPhone. rollout ever today. Just leaky and stuttery. And again, we're going to open up the YouTube app. Now we're gonna, oh, that, I saw Netflix. Can I play Netflix on this? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe they have a partnership. She has immediate access to her favorites. I really hope so. And like you just saw on Android. I hope they have an API because I'd love Simply to update the Twit app. Oh, that would be great. It'd be, the, be great for us. Yeah. And, and, just, and any just, other... Dude, DLNA, then. Yeah. Anybody can use right. it. I mean, any, any internet streaming. Right. It just automatically works, whether it's an iOS device or an Android device. In fact, now, I can invite Richard, all my yes, friends to connect Finally, to my a device that plays Netflix. And they can all start sending their favorite videos <laughs> to the TV. Right. Or we can even build a shared queue. Henry was mad when I took the Google TV uh, off the TV. He said, we we use it to watch YouTube. Simply press the cap. Oh. Select phone. And now it's no, playing. Apple TV has off. YouTube. Does mm -hmm. Apple TV have YouTube yeah. now? Yep. It's had it since long. Has it? So we just want the higher quality. Really simple of YouTube. It is. It's a nice interface. Yeah. With YouTube. Just a simple press of a button. How you can multitask on your device YouTube. while still playing. I'll show you from an iOS TV, device to this Chromecast. Shut it on Android. So now so we want to take that exact same experience and bring it to other types of content. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. So let's go back to my wife's iPhone. And this time we're going to open up Netflix. Right now, this works with the iPhone. Mm -hmm. and You're going to see Netflix. Netflix immediately detected my Chromecast device on uh, my home network. Simply press the cast button, select your device. So it does look like they have an API. And now my Netflix wife is, is ready it. to start watching well, movies well, and TV shows from Netflix yeah. right on the big screen. I don't understand. It was open API. Uh, All she needs to do is press play. Great if you use so Zigbee case, or uh, Z-Wave or some cards, standard or VLNA. Mm -hmm. That'd be so nice. Take a look. Open, Google. Open. This won't kill Roku if it doesn't do more than just YouTube and Netflix. Although Roku only did Netflix at the beginning, so <laughs> arguably it's... The Netflix uh, stick, the MHL stick, is uh, 100 bucks, right? Sound. It looks great. By the way, nominated so for an Emmy for this opening. has to leave the room or leave the house. Nine Emmys. And I still yeah, want to watch the video. Certainly. Well, we have one small problem. She took the phone with her. So now it's gone. So what do I do? How do I control we'll the video? we're probably going to take down in about well, three years. Well, the answer is pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my new Nexus <laughs> yeah. 7. So let's bring up my Nexus 7. And I'm going to open the Netflix app. Netflix immediately detects what's already playing on the television. Simply press the blue bar. That's kind of... And now I have full control of the video. The advantage video of having the device do the streaming device. is you could have different devices, You're not many TVs, to many devices, device. mm -hmm. fact, each playing device something different, your home given can enough bandwidth remote in the house. For the television. This seems to be like swapping, like handing off What's pretty seamlessly. Really I think cool. that's pretty interesting. That yeah, very yeah so you can, you can take off with the device, but it doesn't stop the stream. That's, right. that's yeah. nifty. That. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and bring back my wife's iPhone it's on the other monitor. Key. And the videos continue to play here temporarily. Hmm. So AK is going to go ahead and skip forward on the Nexus 7 farther down in the episode. And before he does, and take a look many at the iPhone and the scrubber. And AK, why don't you go ahead and skip forward? Now watch. Whoa. Yeah. The That's cool. It is what yeah. syncs to the exact same place. 
In fact, you'd now, expect that though. My wife can pause they had a page out of Amazon there. On her, it's impressive iPhone. though. Kind of has to do it the way it works. Yeah. Yeah. But now you see why the and device is doing the streaming. It can, it can my tablet. keep track of all of that. Remember, There's no this is an iOS device and an Android device. They're actually working together. What? Okay, what? so we showed you how easy it is to watch Netflix on Chromecast. Well, it's just as easy to, to watch Google Play movies and TV. Uh, of course, Google Play. So let's go ahead and open up the Play Movies app. I already have my Nexus 7 up. Again, Shocker. Yeah. simply press the I mean, this, button. At this point, it, it achieves device, you know 90% of the functionality of Apple TV, right? Now, with play, no, uh, no, no, because no, I can I airplay my desktop. Airplay. Apple right. TV. Well, I also see. have a lot more channels on let's Apple see. TV. It'd be nice if we could airplay. In this case, we're going to go ahead and continue playing. Yeah, I would miss, first. what is it, Crunchy Rice? <laughs> Crunchy Roll. Yes. Sky News, which is actually Sky's horrible kind of news, but it's nice to have a 24-hour news show. Go watch ESPN. Well, but this shows that that's probably kind of... In the, you know, in those the other weeks. services will come yeah, eventually. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Well, but wait a it minute. really does blur the lines for Google TV then, right? Yeah. Is this their this new focus the, when it comes no to the living room? This is the Google right. TV, right? Now, the is great thing is the so Google TV sat on top of your of all your interfaces. It this is switching to HDMI like 1 or 2, and now it's taking we over your display. It's a little phone, different uh, than yeah. yeah. no, right. Google TV. I think Larry Page is putting Google TV in this in an arena. What's this? For many of us, the best speakers are connected to the TV. With Chromecast, it's really easy to get your music on the television. So let me show you. This We're is something bring that will not work on iOS. The Google Play because Music app. Sarah, they haven't released the Google it's Music app familiar. yet, have they? Press the cast right button. No, not Switch an official one. Lots of rumors that they were going to do that imminently. Any song maybe, in your maybe now. That'd be nice. And you're going to be listening yeah. to Google Music on the best speakers in your house. Yeah, Those maybe beautiful now. Beautiful BMW speakers. Shouting the cross platform. <laughs> Those in television speakers from Panasonic. <laughs> this is the event. Beautiful. Royal Teeth. Let me show you one more example. You ever hear of them, Sarah? Royal Teeth? Pandora. No. Okay. On my phone, I've already configured all so my... So that Pandora stations. also supported... Really Pandora, good. TV. Well, great. Go to the Pandora app. All right. Press all right. Yes, all right. All right. there's hope. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting time. more excited. So now YouTube, Netflix, Google Music, and Pandora. I think this is AK's favorite station. It's another app-based device. Show. That's Regardless. all. Regardless. It's not... It's not that's a bad music. thing. Can it do anything on its own? You have to wait for them to add really channels. Easy. Well, but that's true for Apple TV. So one device we Apple have TV I can do my desktop. It's the laptop. Uh, so I have so infinite let's about it. Let's go ahead and bring up available. a laptop. And we've wait a uh, already opened wait up for it. the Chrome browser. Wait for it. We're open up YouTube.com. <laughs> wait for it. The same cast button is going to show up. Now, this time it's in the lower right corner next to YouTube. I hope they can do some stuff from Chrome. Simply press the cast button. And from your laptop now, you have sent a YouTube video directly to your TV. I'd love to see that button in Chrome in general. Right. How long before people hack that? To make it a Chrome extension? And why yeah. couldn't they? If they have a mini Chrome installed yeah, on, the, so on the dongle. They're so close. And right? you can sync tabs. Yeah. We've, we've worked really hard. I would hard want to breathe all that dust. To make sure you have a consistent user experience, regardless of whether you're coming from a phone, a tablet, or a laptop. It just works. Ooh. Mm. Okay, it so just works. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Apple computer. Uh, you better back down, baby. You can get I see a lawsuit. <laughs> we recognize there's other content out there on the web today. It just works as a trade so secret. We have one more thing to show you. <laughs> helps get you How did they put that and phrase they, And he just said one more thing. Did he? Now, yeah. it's still well, this early is just like slapping so Apple in the face. This feature is in beta. Slap it. We're announcing a new feature that allows you to project any Chrome tab from your television Boom. Tab directly to the TV. Booyah! So that means live.twit.tv. Now, this works beautifully for things right? yeah. like photos. I'm just curious so when Hulu blocks this. What are they doing the, there? Uh, the Chrome browser. So the any laptop. tab uh -huh. can be sent to your TV. Yeah, and why not? Um, yeah, and why not? So it's really easy. So on the photos, I've opened <laughs> up the Google Plus Bubble. You're not going to demonstrate Hulu, though. And on the top right, <laughs> you're going to see <laughs> and Hulu, the cast button. Can Hulu can tell it? you're casting? Look at that, cast and button. now we're going to be projecting mm -hmm. what's on your local device. Oh, man, okay. Now I'm Pretty sweet, yeah. Now I can watch puppies. No cables. And we can queue up the puppies. And we've made some That's the best part. Puppy queue. For example, you can notice we're not actually projecting your entire desktop. $35. Or even the URL bar. Dirt cheap. We're focusing on the content you care TV. about, which is the content you And it doesn't require watch. an MHL port. No. No. 
Now you might have to do a little USB chicanery if you don't have a USB a port in your TVs television. A lot of have USB ports. Mine does, right? It's because it's, old. it's older. It's yeah, older. mine does yeah. not. Yeah. But it's also Wi-Fi only. Well, seven-year-old TV. What are you watching? People keep TVs. Seven-year-old HD TV. Of course, it doesn't have USB. It wasn't 1080p, 1080i. It's 1080i. There's a big difference. No, it's 1080p and 1080i. Oh, and 1080i. I shouldn't well. have said 1080i. That They're was... showing off a Vimeo video. That's you fantastic. Oh, good. Good okay. for them. That's showing openness, right? Right, right. I mean, let me. I, I want to buy this. I want to buy five of these. Yeah, seriously. Well, Thirty-five I'm gonna, bucks. I'm only going to buy two because I only have two televisions. Nah, it's available now. Add to cart. Ships in one to two business days. I'm going to add three to my cart. Proceed to check out. Boom. Boom! Google Wallet. And while you're watching your video on the television, you can continue to access the entire web. No. Select an address. Well, they learned some lessons from the Nexus Q. Put it on my card. You buy now, you get three $8, three to five business days. Oh, I could have done it faster. Shoot. Oh, well, too bad. I did it too fast. Buy another one. Order placed. You are a winner, Leo. I am a winner. Just got three of them. As you've come to expect with Chrome. I don't know why I bought three, but... Okay, with that, well, I'd like to back throw them out. You need... Pass them around. You know? Yeah. It's stocking less than stuffer a parking territory ticket right there. That's a stocking guys, stuffer. It's a stocking stuffer. Uh, testing I'm getting a parking ticket for this mount right now. <laughs> if I go move my car, I could afford this. That is awesome product. Very cool and very exciting. I want to give a shout out to Remember the when we Google saw the Q a year ago, and a half ago, oh, or a year and a couple of months ago, yeah. Yeah. Well, and we saw the price? Did we shout awesome product? Nobody no. Did. <laughs> no, I believe we gasped. I think we it said, began with I an aw. Yes, think, exactly. It was a different word. Uh, I think I remember saying that is ah, shed in the water. Talk about yeah. developers for a few minutes. If you're a developer, you might be asking, how can you get your app? Uh, you should get one more uh, shipped right away. TV in the same way that you just saw done just now in oh, and, uh, uh, the demos. Oh, and probably good to point out Apps that uh, like their point of sale didn't fail miserably when you did that. Uh, well, <laughs> let me try one more and see. Technology for developers. <laughs> Add to cart. <laughs> Buy now and get three months of Netflix and included. To TVs. Yeah. This is pretty okay. big. Chromecast SDK Naming for developers. So you can be oh, putting this totally into Totally open. This is it's fabulous. This is big. Developers don't need to build a new app. All it takes is a few modifications oh, to existing oh, mobile. Okay, and web take apps. it all back. Well done. Well today, done. We're pub today we're publishing a developer preview of the Google Cast SDK today, gonna with libraries today. for. So Android, Google is basically just iOS, giving you bandwidth. They're Chrome. saying, yeah, just take put put this put We've this tweet this SDK in, root, root your URL through us. We'll send it back down to the Chromecast, which gives them more data. The, That's what the they want. Ah. Yeah. Okay iOS, Android, and what was that third And Chrome. Logo? And Chrome. To create okay. an ecosystem of apps as well as devices. With the, with the Chromecast device, while the Chromecast device... Somebody said, I'm going to put this on a keychain. Yeah, you carry it around with you. Google Cast. Yeah, actually, they've been Over doing hotels time, and things. Yeah, hotel. Absolutely. The Apple TV was like, oh, holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, 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 oh. From Bingo. <laughs> if there's an HDMI TV, man. Yeah. And also, if you're doing presentations... So recapping. Google Your presentation or whatever they call it. They're, they're, uh, and almost oh, okay. Let's all listen. Have that. YouTube, Netflix, Google with more Play coming soon. And TV, yeah, Hard play music. music. Yep. Lots of content from the web. There's the uh, micro Chrome USB on the uh, back there. And still to come, Pandora and many more apps. With a and simple twit. press of the cast button, you're watching on your TV while still having full control over your device. Unlike other solutions, it works with Android, iOS, Chrome for Windows, with Chrome tax for Mac, and overnight shipping and still under Chromebook 50 Pixel. Bucks. So we've talked a lot about the product and, and this morning, the working. and we're really excited yeah, about too. it. But you're yeah. probably wondering, how much does it cost, and how can I get it? It's thirty-five dollars. I'm on your website. I've worked I'm not really, really, really hard to make Chromecast <laughs> as Sorry. affordable as possible for as many consumers as possible. So we're happy to announce that Chromecast will retail for $35. That's really, if they hadn't tipped their hand, a for what? For $35. Yeah, that is an applause it's moment. It's affordable yeah. enough to connect up every TV in your home. Don't they have a section of Google for appla yeah, applauders apparently, to come Apparently, which in the is room? good. That, uh, I actually admire this. Yeah, this I was do. a press breakfast, today, and they didn't stack it with <laughs> employees to <laughs> applaud. 
And I, I commend them for that. I of course, them. real journalists, <laughs> and apparently the room's full of them, aren't going to applaud for anything. Their hands are full. Cameras They're busy eating. It will also be available. The free, yeah, the free food. Best, <laughs> best Buy did not leak Across this. the U.S. as early as July 28th. Right. And through our partnership with Netflix, for a limited time, you will also get three months free of Netflix with the purchase this, this of is a, a Chromecast device. We're going to close product. this morning with a video that really shows some of the experiences that we're aspiring and to enable kill smart TVs. through Chromecast. I mean, what do you? Uh, this is so much better than a smart TV. And at that price, you're not going to like hesitate to upgrade it if it comes out next no. year. No. And think of Google's strategy Google. here. All your viewing is now channeled through Google. Yes. That's the brilliant behind the scenes. Yeah, aspect I think you, of it. I think you picked up on that, and uh, I think you're exactly right. Because Google now will be more awesome. Well, then think of that. How, that. how long before you flip the switch and say, "Hey, just let everybody know what I'm watching." Okay, Chromecast. Okay, new, Chromecast. new Arrested Development okay, season Chromecast. was just edited to Netflix. Oh, sums up on your Google Now card. Yeah. Oh, I should watch that. Oh, watch that. Is that a bazooki? If I'm only you would ask that question. <laughs> I love the fact that we were so underwhelmed. I'm curious. We were so underwhelmed by a a fantastic piece of hardware, the Nexus 7, the second one. Which but I this, will buy. This little guy is gonna it's just basically because we want to watch web on TV and this right. actually does it right. This does it right. That's it. It's over. Boy, they didn't. Uh, they didn't exactly uh, say goodbye. They, they literally dropped the mic. I appreciate and walk that off stage. too. Oh. <laughs> Boom! They said Chromecast. There you go. They dropped it. Well, it's more of a tinkle because it just hits the floor. It's You're small. watching live coverage of Breakfast with Sundar. Sundar Pichai's Breakfast with the Press to announce two new products, uh, two very interesting products, an updated Nexus uh, Seven tablet. Uh, and the update is primarily in uh, specs, both uh, in screen resolution, processor, and GPU. Um, they showed some gaming uh, and showed uh, a price that uh, is still very compelling, a little more than the original Nexus 7, 229 for the 16 gig, 269 for the 32 gig, and there is an, a, a, a LTE version uh, available for, what was that, 329? 349. 349. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, uh, I think you could tell that we were most excited as exciting as that is and i think that that's compelling they mentioned textbooks available for it uh it, it multiple profiles they did show jelly bean 4.3 it will ship with jelly bean 4.3 nice. it was a nice it announcement. was a nice announcement uh and it just shows you how jaded really we've all become <laughs> <laughs> 229 dollars for a, a pretty impressive tablet uh and frankly if i'm apple uh, I'm, I'm really starting to think well what am i going to announce in september or october uh especially for the seven inch form factor for the iPad mini. The rumors were no iPad mini this year. I'm I'm thinking Apple has to respond. They've got to do something They've now. They've got to respond. Uh, secondly, another product aimed not just at Apple TV, but at Roku and every other smart television uh, device, the Chromecast, for $35, a way to take anything on your Chrome browser, any tab, and put it on your big screen TV. Not, not as Apple TV works, not as DLNA works, streaming from your laptop but in fact sending the tab to the device which then accesses the wi-fi and gets the information and that's the one thing the queue didn't do a lot of this is the functionality from the the ball the big cannonball queue which is i want to send a youtube video to the queue i actually tell google and then google sends the url down to the queue it has it doesn't have a direct connection but that chrome tab makes all the difference and the sdk that says hey you don't have anybody. to get our permission anybody can just make anybody. a quick tweak to their app and add this cast button. We'll handle the rest. And iOS, Android, uh, uh, I think this is a very compelling product. It does come with built-in YouTube, Netflix, they say coming soon, Pandora, Google mm -hmm. Music capability. Um, so out of the box, it does some pretty amazing things. You can control it from your uh, iPhone, your Android device, or from your laptop running Chrome, and I presume that's Mac, Linux, and Windows. The question is, now, when Chrome appeared on Google TV, immediately everybody tried to block it. Right. They did detection to figure out, oh, that's Chrome on a Google TV. Will they be able to tell that this is Chrome on a Chromecast and do the same kind of blocking when you try to send a tab? You know, what they're probably looking at when they're on Google TV is uh, what's called the user agent. You query the browser and you say, what's the user agent? And it will say, this is Google TV. I'm going to guess that Google's going to want to play nice with Hulu and other companies and say that the uh, user agent is Chrome on Mac OS X plus 
No, you know well, what? Because it would just be Chromecast. It would be the Chromecast. It's the user agent's going to say Chromecast because Google is not going to want to bypass that capability. They don't. They want us to get in bed with these guys. They want Hulu to develop for it. Yeah. So there, there's no way they're going to have a secret user agent. And so you won't be able to do the same things you do with DLNA yeah, or I don't, AirPlay. I don't Unlike so. AirPlay, which goes from your device to device to your it. network. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, that single point-to-point uh, -point connection versus going through another server. I, 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 yeah, unfortunately, I think, Leo, you're right on that. They're going to play nice, and we're not going to see the great ability, but... Well, who knew? Maybe Hulu Plus will build it in with their SDK, and you'll have yeah. it that way. We yeah. don't know yet. We'll see. The Chromecast is available uh, for order right now. It's on the uh, on the Google Play Store. The uh, Nexus Seven will be available July thirtieth uh, at all, all the usual retail stores. Plus, of course, on the Google Play Store. Uh, and they said that the Chromecast will ship by August seventh. So at this point, uh, you can order, but you can't get it until for a couple of But they uh, said August 7th? Weeks. I thought he said July 28th. It's saying August 7th on the uh, oh, website. He, he said as early as July 28th. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe that's So maybe back August ordered? 7th is the target. And mine says ships by July 27th. Not. Okay, yeah, that's so what mine said. So what ha okay, so now what's happening is this they is. Them up. They've sold them out. And they're making that's more exactly as fast right. as they can. So now uh, order, the, uh, the ships soon is now August 7th. So we'll get ours sooner. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we'll certainly review those as soon as they're available. Um, I think some pretty, that's pretty significant um, product from Google. Pretty and compelling. And, uh, a lot, you know, I, I think a, at 35 bucks. now we should point out it's not using MHL. It is a, just an HDMI, standard HDMI port. However, uh, you can power it, via, you need to power it via USB. Um, many TVs have a USB port, but even if not, if you're Tom, you, you could plug it into the wall and plug yeah, a USB just a, cable. It's a cord into a, a, some kind a of micro wall USB. Port. It's a micro, a yeah, a micro yeah. USB port. They don't say what the power drain is, but I'm sure you could find one that has enough power. Uh, and it does use Wi-Fi, so you'll have to have Wi-Fi available. Well, you have cool. to have good enough Wi-Fi to stream video, which may or may not be a problem for some people. Yeah. One of the cooler yeah. functions is the fact that you can turn on your TV and switch inputs from your phone right directly. And that's that's actually going to help, I think, a lot. Because then you're not fiddling around with another remote using your iOS device or your, your web browser to do that. And that's going to be, I think, a real... It's a small feature, but I think people are going to love that. We're going to get to your final thoughts in just a second, but a reminder that our breaking news, as always, brought to you by our good friends at Slingbox. Thank you, Slingbox. Uh, Slingbox makes it possible to watch your television almost anywhere over the Internet. The Slingbox 500 is out with Wi-Fi, HDMI connectivity, full HD 1080p. All you got to do is buy a Slingbox, set it up with your home theater system, plug in your DVR, your cable or satellite box, or even your DVD player. You can even wirelessly archive photos and videos and enjoy them on your TV at home or wherever you go. The picture quality is astounding. It puts your stuff, your home theater system on the Internet, password protected. You don't have to buy any special programming packages. You have no monthly fees. You never miss the show you want to watch. In HD, you can even control the DVR and record shows from the road. Get your Slingbox today. Best Buy, Amazon, or find out more at slingbox.com slash twit. Sarah Lane, uh, it seems to me a lot of this stuff was aimed at Apple. The Nexus 7 is uh, a little bit better, maybe a lot, than the iPad mini. Um, the uh, <laughs> I have to say, uh, this uh, new uh, Chrome device, the Chromecast, might be a little bit better than the Apple TV for some people. What do you think? Yeah, I, uh, you know, we, we keep mentioning, geez, uh, the rumors are that Apple's not going to come out with anything in its iPad mini line this year, right. and that really should. When you look at something like the new Nexus 7, you know, the specs, it's like, wow, this device is amazing. And the point that Apple can't figure out how to get great battery life without putting Retina in the iPad mini just is simply... It, that that doesn't hold up anymore because we can see that their competitors are doing so with really nice devices that do the same stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'll be really interested to see how the Nexus 7 sets a precedent for tablets of this size going forward from Apple, but from everybody. What do you think, Tom? I I, I think that the Chromecast is brilliant. Uh, I was I was kind of like, eh, it's interesting until they, they talked about that SDK. And the fact that it is going to be any open tab. for anybody to do it, I think that's great. It may any not, tab in your browser. So any tab in your already. browser, as long as it's not blocked. As we, we don't have to about, do anything. Live.twit.tv, you go to live.twit.tv, you press boom. the Chromecast it's button, in there. it's on there. Uh, and it's $35. How can you not snap I hope it has one flash. for every television? 
you know, why not? I hope well, it has flash. It did have flash because they showed Vimeo. They showed Vimeo. Oh, yeah. Right? Although and Vimeo does do HTML flash. But Chrome so. also has flash built in. Who cares about in. flash? Flash is dying. But well, we're flash. <laughs> yeah. We do have HLS streaming, but uh, okay. And, and uh, the Nexus 7 is a very nice upgrade to the tablet. It's gonna, it has an amazing screen. The thinner form factor is cool and a great processor. If you don't already have a Nexus 7, definitely go get one. I think it's even tempting for somebody who already has one. It's tempting for me. I already sold mine. I'm getting the new Nexus 7 yeah. as soon as I can order it. No, I, no, it's so much faster. The Nexus 7 deteriorated. I use my speed. Nexus 7 mostly for reading, mm -hmm. so I'm not tempted to get this yeah. new one yet. See, I think with the higher resolution, it'd be easier on the eyes for me, and that's what I really like to do with this. Like I was saying with web I can't pages. can't see anything anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you're in your eyes. You don't like retina. But uh, I like having a lot of pixel density when it comes to my devices because I will read indefinitely. And the, one of the tweaks I was reading about, about Android 4.3, uh, it was leaked a couple of days ago, was that people's battery lives on their phones are like, going from like four hours to 25 hours. So if that seems like that's the hook, that you have this bigger display, you have all this power, but if the OS can handle the power management properly, that can make this a huge difference. And maybe that's what Apple is stuck on, because iOS maybe can't handle that. It's battery savings, and that could be a huge advantage for Android in general. The other impressive thing, of course, is price. $35, and you get three months of Netflix, a $24 value. Yeah, at this point, my current Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, but at this point, it's a pretty desirable product, uh, so much so that I just bought three. Be <laughs> you know, not even thinking It's an about impulse. It. It's an impulse yeah, purchase. Yeah, it's an impulse purchase. Completely. And, uh, boy, I have to say, this, this makes any TV that's not a smart TV smart. And given the quality and the state of smart TVs today anyway, I think this is a, uh, something almost everybody's going to want to. Uh, put and, on their television. People, set. people who don't make a lot of money can afford this too. It's, right. You know, ninety nine dollars for Roku is still a, con is a consideration mm -hmm. for some people. Thirty five dollars that becomes achievable. Well, and as somebody in our chat room pointed out, you carry this with you when you go to a presentation somewhere. You plug it into their HD TV. You fire up your Chrome browser, and anything you can do in your Chrome browser is, is up on that. Do you guys TV. remember the demo from I/O where they were showing gaming in a browser in Chrome using ah, multiple devices? Interesting. $35 game machine. Right. It's killing everything if you can do a tab. That's like there's so many things you can do in Chrome already, and they've really powered it up to handle all kinds of hardware acceleration. You can do crazy gaming in there. That could be really big if they can put gaming through this $35 box. Xbox should be scared. PlayStation should be scared at $35. Oh, I, I think it's a little early for them to be scared. It, it can't quite match. 500 the bucks? Same thing. 35 bucks. But the games on Chrome aren't, aren't at that level. Not yet. Soon, perhaps. Yeah, someday. Soon. Uh, and I'm sorry that I bought three if that means you couldn't get one until <laughs> August 7th. I apologize. I wasn't thinking. I thought they might have more. I didn't do it on purpose. Thanks a lot. You, I bought two. I'm just as guilty. I'm two-thirds as guilty. Uh, somebody in their chat room has posted a link to uh, 4.3 for the Nexus 7, uh, but they did say that there will be an update uh, being pushed out uh, later today. I just checked. It's not out uh, yet, but uh, I'm sure soon. Uh, very excited. Android 4.3 announced rolling out to Nexus devices today. When they say Nexus devices, are they saying Nexus 4? I, I, would, I would hope they're meaning Nexus that 4 at the very minimum. Yeah. And they did point out, for people who were concerned about the Google Edition Galaxy S4 and the HTC One, that the, it would be coming very soon for those phones as well. So if you have a Google Edition phone, you'll probably get 4.3 uh, quite quickly. If you have a phone from a manufacturer with, with its own customization, don't hold your breath. Uh, that wraps up our live coverage. We're gonna let, now, did you do TNT? No, you're going to no, do we're TNT doing it next. Now. Okay, yeah. so we're Tom Merritt, right Sarah now. Lane, Aya, Zaktar, thank you for being here. This is a special day for Twit, the second anniversary of our move into our, I still think of it as our new studios. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to have to stop saying that. In honor of that, uh, we're having an open house. If you're in the uh, Petaluma area, come on by, stop by. We've got a chair for you. It's uh, as old as an iPhone 4. <laughs> wow. Well, that is old. Yeah. See? It's old. And, and, and you'll be able to find it because after two years, we're finally putting a sign up. Yes, yeah, so if you heard that ruckus <laughs> in the beginning of this. There's a, there, it'll say twit out, Fred. It's a beautiful sign. It's brand new. Like, just put up. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I, are they done? I, they're at TWI. Yeah, I have to go out and see it while you guys do TNT. Big truck's still there. I'll so. be back right after TNT Security Now, coming up with Steve Gibson, then this week in Google. And then a special edition of Triangulations. Tom and Sarah are going to interview me. People have been asking for this for a long time. I got nothing. I everybody knows oh, there's we're nothing getting a probing be, questions. This will be in one location. Uncovering all the secrets. One of the reasons that it's we It's like buying a gift for the guy who has everything. You've said everything. I have. I'm such a blabbermouth. But some things transcripts. that you haven't meant to share. You could ask me about the shared. Moto X again and again. Hammer me on that. <laughs> so Tom and Sarah, if anybody was gonna interview me, it'd be two of my oldest friends. I've known them for a decade now. And, and so 
I guess they might know some secrets. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Again, thanks to uh, Slingbox for uh, supporting our special uh, coverage. Uh, if it's uh, breaking tech news, I hope you will tune to uh, twit.tv. We, we, we aim to bring it to you live. TNT is up next. I'm Leo Laporte. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you.